Hello. The fur the fourth sorry the fourth Sunday of Advent is the Sunday of love. And as I was going to uh, Google to look for uh, pictures for our bulletin, I simply type love and see what are, were the image. And most of them were images or picture of couples or family with young children and holding hands and being together. And it makes me think makes me think of how during this time of the year so close to Christmas all this image of family and love is so present all around us and the movie classics it's mostly about family coming together they're happy and 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 the end it's the, the, the miracle of Christmas everybody holding each other and singing together we have seen those movies, uh, like it or not. But reality is often different these days. Just the other day, I was reading an article um, in the newspaper about what happened when we have, you know, families with um, split families or, or families when, when uh, going through divorce and one partner has two children in shared custody, the other partner has one children in shared custody, and they have another one together. How uh, you organize this Christmas schedule and, and find times? And, or sometimes you go visiting your family or your people, your families coming to your place, and you have great hopes. It will be wonderful like in the movies, but sometimes after a day, you discover why um, you made the choice to live in the other part of the country than from your sister, your brother, or parents. Maybe these are extreme situations, but nevertheless, it's, it's true for most of us. Love and family and relationship is presented as an ideal, but is not the reality for many of us. And we need to remember this during this time of Christmas and the new year that will come after it. And everything seems to push us, you know, this, this construct of this uh, father, mother, children. But family come in all shape and all size. And love is not just love with your partner or, or love for your children. It is also love for, for friends, for a community that's also part of love and this is also what we are invited to reflect upon how do we love each other and these days um i would not say it's more difficult but it is difficult with everything we went through during the last few months with with fear of stranger how we express that love Immigrant, refugees, uh, next door neighbor, we don't know what he or she's doing and, and, and what his or her business is about. How can we love them? Love is it's wonderful because it's not limited to one people or one aspect of our life. We don't have to divide our love. Love could be everywhere. It could be overflow. It's almost unlimited we can love different kind of people for different reason with different sort of love and i think it's important to remember this during this last sunday of advent just before we celebrate the birth of christ we celebrating a god that loved this world so much that Jesus came here. Jesus who talked about love, loving your enemy, loving your friends. We need to remember this and hold this preciously and offer that love to those who are struggling exactly with this model that are, is surrounding us these days. I hope in the next few days you will feel that love. You will be able to give that love to people around you. And I hope you will take care of yourself. Have a great week.